Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today you're going to see a little video of me making a new jump rope. This is the jump rope that I just made and you'll see me making this. This one will fit me. The other one was just yellow. This one is green and yellow and I tried it out and it works really good. I don't have to stretch this one to make it fit me. I'll put that video in right here. Making my jump rope a bigger one. And halfway through the program, or the making of it, Jim says we should be taping this. Yeah, we should be. I'm going to hold there. And what I did is I made, I made three braids. Three chains. Three chains. And now I'm making a braid. And because I was asked one time by, I think it was Pamela, asked me how I made the jump rope. And this is how I make it. And this is the, the cording that I used this cording. It's really rough on the fingers. It's kind of a macrame cord, I believe. I don't know what it was, but it was, it was, it's really rough on the fingers. And I used, and I used this crochet hook to make it. It says 10 millimeter. It's a huge one. I don't know what 10 millimeter is. Macrame chairs. You would use a J and a K hook, I believe. And right now I'm just braiding. You see, it's a, it's a pretty braid. That's all it is. Almost done. I think I'll to wrap this one around like I did the other one. Round and around. Around she'll go. Boy, this stuff makes a noise. Uh-huh. Kyle and I will jump together. Okay, we're good. I also got in the mail my the seeds that King Folk Farms wanted to send me. It's corn seeds. It's they planted this colorful corn and I'm going to plant the corn. Jim's going to make a spot by the, the compost pile so it'll have really rich dirt and I will plant this corn there. Thank you very much Shane. I really appreciate the corn. I'm going to enjoy watching it grow and saving the seed for myself and enjoying some of the seed and eating some of the corn. It'll be good. Now, is that a popcorn or is that no, a... No, it's just a regular corn. I, like a sweet corn. Sweet corn, yeah. Because they almost look like popcorn. I know kernels. it does. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be sweet corn. Maybe, Shane, you can tell me if it will pop or not. That would be interesting to know. But anyways, oh, and today I, I got a really strange telemarketer call. A real strange one of where um, I was talking to the person called and they said they were from the federal government is what they said now you can tell that they weren't of um, of um, English wasn't their first language you could tell that by the by the sound of their voice and um, was saying something about the the 2021 Medicaid or no Medicare Medicare card was coming out which no the whatever card they sent you when you first got Medicare that's the card you keep and he kept saying that they were changing it for 2021 because they are now making them white with a chip in it and I so I thought that's strange I thought that they were not never going to change that so I called Medicare and the lady said that that was a scam call and the funny part is, when he was on the phone with me, 
you know, he just, he says, well, you're, he was going to, they were going to mail it out. And he says, and your address is, and he says, my address. And it's like, I says, email me. So I know it's really you. Well, I never got an email, but I did call the Medicare office. And, and I said to her, how is it that he had my address? And she said, well, everything is very, very easy to find in the internet today. So that's how they would find the address. They match it up with the phone number that they call or whatever. I don't know, but they're really, they're really a tricky scammer. I said, well, this is terrible because Medicare actually told me that they only contact you through mail or email. They will never call you. So the, if, if you get a card in the mail that's from Medicare and it's a white card, destroy it. It's supposed to be a white card with a chip in it. And he's, he was saying there's no more numbers and it won't cost you anything. Well, it's probably going to steal something from you, I'm sure, if you used it. But um, just destroy it. It's not a true card. I called the Medicare office to verify what I was being told on the phone by this maniac of a person. And um, it was, it was, uh, he was polite and um, didn't hang up on me, but I did say, send me an email. And he said, okay. <laughs> and that was the end of that. And then it was the end of the phone call. So in two weeks, I'm supposed to receive this phony card, supposedly. I don't know if I will or not. But if I do, I'm going to take it to the police and have them see what they can do with it or send it to Medicare themselves and let them... them figure it out what's going on and where it's coming from and maybe they can put out the report to to people to watch out for this kind of a scam because this is a really this scam was more to where people could fall for it real easy and so don't fall for it they're getting very tricky they in sure scam. are and also we heard on the news that you should not share on your social media if you got the coronavirus shot do not do not share the card that you got don't share anything about it because they're they're also targeting that somehow i don't know how it, the card has your name address all and kinds of they information don't, they don't want they you to share have. that do not share that so that's another thing you got to watch out for boy it's getting dangerous out there but through the because of the internet and they're able to find out so much and and it's, they can make it look real when it's not real. So take it easy, take care, and be safe. And I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.